the announcement of re-race tournaments, I've decided to put myself through the challenge of starting from scratch once more. With less of a budget this time around, we're going to have to rely heavily on trading to make it towards our goal, since we're not going to have as much chances of pulling what we need. It only makes sense since Final Fantasy is meant to be a trading card game, and I wanted to try it out the way it was meant to be intended. The viewers will have a say on the path that we take, to try to make this more of an interactive experience as we strive to make it to the top. Will we succeed? Find out as you're watching Final Fantasy TCG, New Game Plus, Traders of Paradise. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy TCG New Game Plus. This is your host, TCG Tacos, and a quick recap on last episode. We were lucky enough to pull two full arts, which should help with some badly needed upgrades, since the value in them are pretty decent. Uh, ended up building Marsh Roots again with some improvements, but not enough to do well enough for prizing. Uh, we're three weeks in a row where we're unable to pull in some extra prizing, and we definitely gotta find a way to change that quickly. Uh, for this week, I'm going to be opening up some more Opus 16 uh, before wrapping up an online trade. Uh, afterwards, we'll head out to Locals and see if there's anything else we can pick up uh, before locking in the deck for this week. Alright, so we've got another 16 packs again of Opus 16. Uh, this also finishes a box, so you'll see that Foil Aerith in the corner. Uh, we do have that as well. Uh, we already have like the majority of the commons and the rares already, uh, so we're just going to pass through that. We have to get a foil of jet, uh, which is uh, trade bait since we're not really using jet in our deck. Uh, our first Madam Eedle. Uh, it's pretty decent if we're going to try doing stories. Uh, foil Lightning and Ishtola. Pretty nice. So we can pass these. Uh, foil Chocobo and a Heo. Nothing of interest there. Uh, foil Luso. Don't see ourselves playing it, but we could use it as trade. Oh, full tedious after. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm not probably not playing that, but I could use that as a trade as well. Uh, for Leviathan and an ace. Moving on. Wow. Okay, another foil L. Uh, Cecil. Uh, I could use this uh, until I probably get some more regular Cecils. Uh, afterwards, I could trade it off, but it's a nice pickup. Uh, we... I don't know how many Biblos we have already, but it seems like quite a lot now. Uh, Foil Vesvia, uh, also nice for trade. Here, uh, Foil Black Waltz 2, another Biblos. Uh, Foil Turtle and a Wool. Okay, we got 5L so far. Doing pretty good on this one. Ourselves a soul in the heroic slot. Uh, foil Clavant, an ace. And this looks like our last pack here. Uh, foil Van and Titania. Okay, pretty nice. So I found a collector who was nice enough on the marketplace. He was just looking for some more full arts and some foils. I uh, ended up trading away the Black Waltz 2 and the Fusoya full art, as well as the foil Titus we just picked up. Alright, so in return we ended up getting five cards. We got three Tyro, and we ended up picking up two Fasalis. Uh, I think equally it came out to about like 45 in value. Uh, so yeah, I'd say this is pretty good for something that we will end up using in the future. I managed to get to locals in time. I opened Null and I was able to trade off my foil Laura for uh, the bulk that you see here. And just before we started the locals tournament, uh, I was able to make a trade with John. Uh, I traded away my foil lightning uh, for a copy of a Terra promo. Uh, since we don't actually have access to it, uh, this is a nice pickup, so I believe this is my second one as of this point. So after looking over all the cards that we got, everything we picked up, we eventually arrived to this. That's right. We ended up on Swarry. I really didn't want to do this, but as I mentioned before, we're really short on store credit. And we really need to get some stuff. So it's going to be like your typical Swarry deck. You got the three Shinju, three Amber, three Alexa, three Elvis, three Vesvia, three Merald. Three Irwin. Uh, to make the most of the Suarez, we're playing three Pashyota, 
We only have one of this, so we gotta make do with what we have. One mana metal. Uh, one Aerith for the mirror, just to get our guys over. Uh, one Chan Toto. This is kind of awkward because we are also playing the backup Toto. Um, take that out now. Uh, it's really it's ICP. Like if we get, like we don't get the Shinju allows us to play other ice cards, so it's there for that. Uh, Renoa to replay. Basically, it's like another metal. We got two Titus to bounce back the, the backups and advance the board state by bouncing one of their forwards. But daily, you want to do this with the, the Elvis so that we can reuse it again. Uh, one Zidane, since stealing cards is pretty decent. I don't know how often we're going to get the haste with this, but it's there. Uh, two Ishtola uh, to protect our, our board. Uh, one Cecil, since we're playing a lot of four drops, uh, get them into play rather easily, as well as like tax for protection. Uh, one Ace, since we're playing multicolor, so this will often hit the 9k even more if you need to. Uh, one Terra, we're playing nine summons. We got three Crucif, three Miss Dragon, and three Cactor. And then to round up the last of our backups, we got the Althea and the three Tyro that we picked up, as well as the Toto that we showed back there. Uh, so that's it for the deck profile, and then we are on to locals. Ended up winning round one against Stefan, who was playing Final Fantasy X. Now we're up against Brandon, who's on the Ultra stack. Uh, we ended up winning the die roll, so we chose to go first. Start things off by paying 2 CP for Shinju and passing to Brandon. Ends up paying 4 CP to play Soldra. Searches out Yuna and Titus. Next, he pays 2 CP to put Yuna onto the board and passes back to me. End up paying 5 CP to put Tyro onto the field. Searching out Madame Needle. And with that, we pass back. Ends up paying three for Titus. And another two to put Ultras onto the board and passes back to us. Playing four CP for the Madame Needle. Putting Amber into play. Searching out Lexa. Next, we pay two CP to put the Lexa to the field. And we pass back. So paying two for Blue Worm, drawing a card, swinging with Titus, hitting Pesciota, untapping the Suarez, and we just pass back. Just pass to us for swinging with the Madame Needle. Next we pay four for Renoa, putting Madame Needle into play, getting Irwin, looking at the hand, and we end up choosing Titus, so hopefully we, we can get rid of the other one. Not see it. Uh, he swings in with Titus, hitting Alexa. Then he's going to Famfrit, sacking his Ultros and my Renoa, using the Ultras effect to mill the top five, and puts uh, smaller Ultras into play. Ends up paying the 2 CP for the Ultros uh, playing the roulette. Puts the same Ultras back, uh, putting the Madam Eedle to the bottom of the deck. Uh, with that, he passes back to us. We're just going to swing it with the Erwin. Then main two. We're going to play Elvis, targeting the Ultras. He's going to put it back into the deck. Look at the top five. Then put the big Ultras onto the board. And main two. We're going to play Merald breaking it, and pass to Brandon. Uh, ends up finding another Ultros, paying one CP for it. He's going to pay the two to put it back into the deck. Looks at the five and puts another Ultros in the play. Swings in with the Titus, uh, hitting Kusith. Our target is Renoa, adding it to hand. Passes to us. Uh, we're going to pay 1 CP for Shintoto, since he's got no cards in hand. We're going to get the Peshiota to hand. 
place at Bashiota uh, in response we're going to use Lexa to bump her win. I'm tapping all our backups then Ishtola comes into play. Swing in with the Merald. Then Erwin uh, ends up hitting a Vampirate. We're going to sack our Merald and his, um, his Ultros. Uh, we cancel with the Ishtola. It's actually going to go to the remote play because he paid cost. Um, Titus will go in to swing. Pass it back to us. We're going to pay four for Terra. Uh, getting Cactor to hand. I should go to, to swing. It's a Leviathan. It's going to bounce back Erwin. Then Shintoto goes in. And our main phase two. I'm going to play Vespia. Uh, drawing two cards. And 4 CP for Erwin. Looking at his hand again. Uh, choosing to rip the Leviathan. I will pay three for Ishtola just to secure our board. See him swing in with Titus. Putting us down to five. Pays two for Ultros. Passes to us. Swing with Peshiota. He's going to activate Leviathan, targeting his Ultros, drawing a card. It blocks. Ishtola goes in. Uh, this time it goes down. It's going to use the effect, we're going to Ishtola so that we can't get it. Uh, activates Blue Rift to block, and Erwin for game. Uh, so that's it for this round. We end up losing the third round, but this gives us enough uh, that we're able to get prizing. Uh, 15 credit. Technically, that tournament would be the end of the week, but we still got one more trade uh, to do. Uh, we ended up doing this uh, the following day at our Monday locals. Uh, we are just kind of playing like normal decks. Kind of just gives me a break from the new game plus. Uh, so this is kind of what we came up with. We're just going to just jump in? Yeah. You're not going to like do some kind of like... Uh, no? There's really no like... Nothing special about it. It's just like, are we good with the trade? I don't, I don't like that at all. Like uh, How should we do this? Yeah. You do the script. We gotta do the script. Do a script. Right, the script. Tacos walks into the shop, looking for a trade today. He sets his binder down, checks with Emo Tempest, but he does not have any trades to offer. I'm busy. Oh, a shame. But wait, alas, a wild vendor has appeared at the new town that Tacos has entered. He sits down to observe the new vendor's inventory and see what he can build for his new deck. Oh, hello there, friend. Hello. How can I help you? Well, we're in search of new cards. Uh, cards? We specialize in cards here, friends. These happen to be cards that interest you? This is exactly what I'm looking for. Yes! Bro, I'm not even that stupid, that's why. All this. <laughs> Dog, Madame Adele's actually stupid, bro. One, two, so as you can see there, we kind of just had fun with that segment. Uh, we did get some laughs out of it, and I hope you all did too. Um, building towards some ice earth, uh, so I'm trying to pick up what I can here and there with whatever the guys have, and the online trade also helped too, because no one really seems to have Tyros, uh, so it did help I was able to pick that up online, as well as, well as of Salus. And this is just before they announced the uh, Glaciella, um, which is pretty good. Uh, so, I mean, I could use it for that. Uh, later on, I would just have to pick up another another Vizalis. Um And as far as the deck for this week, uh, Suarez, even though the deck isn't complete, the deck ran really well, um, even though there's like a lack of Edel. Uh, it's really a beginner friendly deck. Um, half of the deck is just from Opus 16 alone, the rest of it is just like plug in what your preference is. Uh, unfortunately, like the Anniversary Collection already had cards that 
the Swar decks are already playing in anyway, so it was just a matter of just filling it with like some random some random cards that, that fit along with it. Um, it really wanted to avoid playing this deck as much as possible, but we really need the stir credit, especially since we went like three weeks without getting anything. Um, so currently forty five dollars. I'm debating as to whether like I'm gonna hold off for sixty dollars just to pick up an anniversary collection. Even though there's like an overabundance of it, so we could possibly get this cheaper. Or I could just wait till Norway gets actually some some product and we could just like splurge on packs there. Uh, but we'll see when the time comes. I don't want to say. It's also, we're doing it for Brandon too, because Brandon we didn't get to do his birthday last week. I also don't want to say. So you're going to make me come and eat? Is that what you're saying? I'll make you come and go on, but. Wait. Whoa, what? what? Recording! It's recording! I got it! <laughs>